Hello friends, welcome to my channel Data Making. In this video, I am going to discuss about uh, two commonly used uh, uh, data frame operations, which is nothing but uh, with column named and explain. Okay, let me walk through uh, this example uh, with example these uh, two functions. Okay, uh, I will open my uh, IntelliJ IDE. Okay, so this is the program which I uh, taken for explaining you the two different function called uh, with the column named, the column renamed and explain. Okay, so I created a, a, a data frame with the orders data set. Okay, this contains order ID, uh, order uh, order card card type, basically which uh, which using which card type the transaction is made, and the product category and order amount and order date time and user ID. Right. So we in the last session, last class or the last video, we saw how to create a new column to the data frame. So using a with column function, right? So example, you add a column. Example, you add a column name as a reference. Earlier you add a, a, a six columns, I guess. Yeah. So we have a six column in the data frame. So we want to add a reference a reference number to this. Okay. So we just add. A, uh, column name as a reference and we pass the uh, number literal or uh, integer literal okay so that new column will be added okay so if you want to uh, rename that column say example uh, uh, you want actually the reference column to be a reference number so that it is uh, uh, for reading it is uh, meaningful right so you can actually change that uh, uh, column name using the uh, function called with column renamed so this function takes two argument one is the old column and a new column right if you pass it so the reference column will be replaced with the reference number so that's way you can actually use the uh, with column rename right so uh, then i am actually so first we is a data frame we added a, a reference column and then we renamed that column to reference number okay say example i want to apply some uh, another transformation to the data frame say example i want to apply a uh, <coughs> filter transformation I just say this data frame, the renamed data frame uh, dot uh, uh, filter of, I just filter based on the card type, right? So I did a, a three operation here. One is with column uh, where I sh and you added a new column called reference. And then I added a, I used the with column rename function to change the column name reference to reference number. And they applied a filter transformation. This we said we did a, a series of transformation, right? So we know we know uh, Spark actually maintains the lineage, right? It's a lazy evolution when you perform kind of uh, uh, action, kind of operation like show or uh, uh, add kind of uh, 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 data frame uh, functions, you you get the results, right? So if you want to see the uh, logical or uh, the the physical. Uh, uh, physical design or the execution of your uh, series of data frame operation this explain function will be very useful okay let me run this program and i'll explain you how this uh, interpret your result of the explain explain uh, function so i created this as uh, uh, spd spd based scala project so we return a, a scala object class and we created a main method with uh, all this uh, uh, <clears throat> Scala API uh, Spark code. So it is running on our local mode in my laptop. So you can also run the same code on the cluster mode using the Spark submit command. Uh, it is running. Let's wait for some time. Still, it is initializing the Spark context. and it is it is going to create uh, initially the data frame orders data frame with the sample data set right so basically i i added a five rows of uh, uh, um, information i can say five transaction data uh, uh, to form a data frame right once the data frame is formed uh, so we we these, these functions will be applied on the data frame like uh, with column with column rename and the explain Okay, so now it is started applying on this data frame. Data frame. Uh, okay, so first let me tell you. So this is the uh, original data frame, right? Orders data frame, which contains uh, uh, five rows, right? 
So then we applied a, uh, we used a width column to add a new column called reference and we added the integer number 100. And we used the width column renamed function to rename our column from reference to reference number. Okay. And then we applied a filter, right? Just to, in this filter, we just said, uh, bring only the card type of a visa. Okay, only these two, uh, two row will be, uh, order ID 1 and 3 will be written. So that's why you see here. Okay, now when you uh, apply, explain on this, uh, the final data frame, which is a filter, uh, orders filter DF. So it says the lineage of your uh, operation you did. And also is it shows the physical front, basically. So what, what you see here, you actually have you add a RDD from uh, we saw from the row RDD uh, like uh, RDD with uh, a sequence of row we formed the data frame right so from RDD only the data frame came then actually uh, then we actually renamed <coughs> renamed our column right renamed our column from uh, sorry we added a reference number and then uh, we changed it to ref re reference into reference number right and then we applied a, a filter. See this physical plan, the Spark actually does the optimization. It applies the uh, filter before your uh, all the transformation happens. Because uh, this is uh, uh, this is how this uh, Spark actually applies the uh, optimization so that uh, uh, you just filter. Anyway, you are going to apply the filter. You apply the filter. Then with the data frame, you, you actually perform all this operation so that the performance will be more. Okay, because we don't want to get all the data and then uh, uh, do the other transformation and also it by default it applied the e is not null okay so we applied only the card type equal to visa but it is also applied the is not null okay this is how the spark data frame actually is very very optimized uh, to uh, to make your code uh, run in very faster manner okay i hope this video is helpful for you um, Please watch my other videos uh, in my channel. I have a different playlist for uh, Spark tutorial and then uh, <coughs> a PySpark tutorial, Spark with Scala, PySpark tutorial and web scraping. And uh, I have a tuto uh, three projects developed using Spark. And also I have a projects, uh, uh, <coughs> sorry, tutorial on Kafka. Please watch this videos and uh, uh, if you have any queries or doubt, you can post uh, uh, the information or question on your uh, uh, comment section of each video. Thank you so much friends. See you in the next video.